Well, it's been a long and perilous road for me. It took hours, but after all the work I did, I managed to beat every single entropy time. And, well, in case you're wondering, yeah, you have to do well enough in each race of the time trial initially to unlock entropy. Then you can beat entropy to unlock nitrous oxide. I'm just going to go through all these to show you all the times for entropy you have to beat in order to, you know, beat his time. And then you can see the respective oxide, nitrous oxide time as well. Some of which I've also beaten, but you actually have to put them in the race, that ghost, and beat them in order to, you know, get the condition of beating them. If you want you to do it immediately in the moment, you understand. But yeah, you can just go through all these times for yourself. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more of bo the bonus episodes for Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Oh, by the way, you have Emperor Velo 13, or Emperor Velo the 22nd, 27th. Sorry, I can't read that. <laughs> the 27th, Emperor Velo. That's basically the expert staff time. That's the last one if you manage to beat Oxide's time, which I did for one level just to check it out. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway... Welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled bonus episodes. This is your host, the MJ406, and this might be the last one, but, well, just know I slayed for hours over these, because it was, oh, quite an endeavor for some of them. I've been, like, it looks like from my times being, like, about, like, a third of the nitrous oxide times, or have gotten very close, because, well... It's really about knowing those shortcuts and being able to boost, like, the entirety of the time. But if the frickin' Skyway, Hot Air Skyway is anything to go by, the time after Oxides is absolutely insane. If you're wondering why I say Blizzard Bluff for last, well, that's because I think there's a shortcut achievement for this, because there's a lot of shortcuts to this level. And yet the big one you take, uh, I don't think counts. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. Anyway, let's do this. So, yep, I just took the time to do all the time trials to unlock Entropy, and I beat Entropy in every single race but this one. Had to, because it's insane how much they make you do for this. Yeah! You gotta make sure you take these jumps right, or else this happens. Ugh. Fine. Uh, well, that was unfortunate, because I screwed up the jump. That jump is really tough to make, by the way. You really have to, like, time your jump, like, immediately have to get to the edge of the hill. You really gotta make sure you know how you're going about that jump. Yeah. If you're not close enough to Entropy's time in this to begin with, you don't even get to challenge his, uh, ghost. So, yeah. Oh, why? I wanted to hit that shortcut, damn it! Yeah, I think it's another achievement that's similar to the one in uh, Papu's Pyramid. You gotta hit all the shortcuts in one run of the race. Which, the shortcuts of this race are kind of weird. If I'm to believe what I think they are. Because you have to be able to make those jumps over those logs in order to be able to take the shortcuts. Nah, I'll just keep building up my speed, try to save up boost, and go after them later. Because, yeah, even the little paths like this are considered shortcuts. Even if they're not really shortcuts, they're just more like little paths that you're going over rough terrain to get through. I don't know if I'd call them shortcuts, but... That's the game's logic at work here. Yeah, how the heck do you get through that? I don't know how you can get through that as a shortcut. That thing is too high up. Either that, or I miss reading the shortcuts. Eh, screw it. Let's just get this done. You're already really far behind me. You think you can win? Oh, I do. It seems like he might screw up his last lap, based on the time he does. 
Yeah, he does. Oh, he's still too far away. Well, I took one of them. Damn it, and I still lost. All right. Okay, I see how I do that shortcut now. All right. I'll do one more. I'll time warp to me succeeding in this. I just wanted to show off that shortcut achievement. And well, once I do this, we will unlock entropy. This is the last thing I had to do. So, yep. You understand how to do all the entropy crap now? It's not the time of the time trial. It's getting the top rank in the time trial and getting close enough to his actual time they have listed, which you won't find out till after you try it, to try to get to it, in order to be able to challenge his ghost. Because, well, they really want you to know the game well if you want to earn the right to challenge his ghost. Oh, God. I had a feeling that wasn't going to work out. But I thought I'd try it anyway. Alright, screw it. I'm going to go over the shortcut achievement, and then we're going to time warp. I just have to nail the closer one, right? Alright, fine. Yeah, Andrew, you can win this round. But... Next round is mine. Yeah, see, you screw that jump once, you're you're done. At least it's not like they want you to get all the shortcuts in one lap. That would be awful. That would just be the worst. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? That thing ruined me just like that. They really won't end your time trial just because you lost to the ghost. So... Don't worry about that. Oh. Well, never mind that. Let's just time warp. Man, I hate this freaking jump. This is the worst thing. If you do not build up enough speed getting up to that jump, you lose. You lose the time trial against Entropy. You can't win if you don't make that jump. Like, what a freaking pain in the ass. Why, why do they have to make some of the time trial time so good? Like... Honestly, some of the times against Entropy are a freaking joke. But some of them like this just really demand a lot out of you from the on from the outset. Like, couldn't you just make most of them easy? Why do they all have to be so difficult? Or most of them? Like, screw you, game. Sometimes that just gets aggravating. But well... As long as you get driving techniques, you should be fine. Yeah, screw the shortcut achievement. Who cares? I'll try to do that my own time. But either way... You need to be careful of your speed. Oh, God, I lose. <laughs> I already give up. Let's start over. I mean, I'll at least give it a fair shot. Just... I don't expect anything good to come from this because I already screwed up a lot of the crux of this. Yeah! Okay, I'm good then. Yeah, I'll just go with the completion. Screw it. I'll do the shortcut achievement my own time. I know there are two secret achievements left. One is to get every single shortcut in this race in one run. And the other one is just getting all the shortcuts. All my track records. Now you've earned the right to choose me as a racer in the character select screen. Here we go! Be all those times, you unlock entropy. So, yep. You beat all of his trophy times in the time trial mode for all the Crash Team Racing and Nitro Kart stages. You unlock him as a character, which now makes him the final character of the Crash Team Racing roster. Thank Lord. So, yeah. I had to go through all that just to try to get one freaking character because he's a dick. And Oxide's time is still slightly better than mine because, of course, it is. But yeah, those times are a little insane. But yep, we finally got a reward for that. Now we can... Hang on. We can finally use Entropy. Yes. With all of his skins for winning a bunch of races as well. You also got Digital and Stone Age Entropy in the shop. Skins. Which is weird. The skins cost more than the actual characters themselves. Which is ridiculous. 
Oh yeah, you get another skin for him and Nitrous Oxide for being Oxides times. Right. Cause, ugh. Also, I don't think you get anything for beating uh, that Emperor Velo 27th times. Those are really just there for your own pride. And believe me, I do not want to go into that at all. Alright then, now that's done. There's only a little bit left to go over, I'm trying to think. Well, Cup Race, you can see all these cups for yourself. I find it weird that the arena is part of the Nitro Cup, because... Oh wait, never mind. I know what I'm thinking, never mind that. But yep, you got all these cups they have in here. That well, a lot of them are based off of the first game, some of them are based on the second game, like the Velo Cup, you got the Aku Cup, you got the Uka Cup, and you have the Lost Cup that combines some of the stuff from everything. Bonus Cup, going over the last levels, and then you just have a Desert Cup and a Space Cup. They have a cup that has every race featured in it at least once, so you know, you can at least go over it and have some fun. But now it's time to go over the battle mode. May as well. So yep, there's five different kinds of battles. I guess I'll try to go over all of them. Limit battles. Score points for hitting enemies with your favorite power-ups. Yeah, let's do three minutes so it's short. Oh god, have eight people there. Jeez. Right, here are your power-ups. You got Nitro, you got whatever that is. You got Bombs, TNT, Shield, the uh, Beaker, whatever the eyes are. Missiles, three missiles. Aku Aku or Uka Uka and one bomb. Alright, there's only certain kinds of powers I don't have. Alright, well, let's have some fun showing it off. I'll go over every single kind of battle mode. And that should be about it. Let us see how deadly this gets. I mean, yeah. This might be the last bonus episode, although I guess we're still Ring Rally. Oh man, there are boxes everywhere. And you got Wumpa Fruit to be able to uh, power yourself up. So, try to hit people with items. Oh, can I only fire backwards? Can I only fire forward? Krunk is leading. Okay, I can't fire backwards. All right. Damn it. I gotta stop mashing. And, well, this power up. Ah, uh, this is like a constant, like, boost. Okay. Hurry up and hit somebody, damn it! Oh, we do have announcers for it too. Interesting. I want to get the souped-up version of all the new power-ups in this. Oh no, my fruit! You bitch! Damn it! I want these items, damn it! Can I get something that's not bombs, please? Eat him! Eat him, bomb. Eat him. It will be delicious. So, this mode, you just want to try to hit everybody as much as you possibly can. Permanent shield that I don't need because I'm not doing frickin'... There we go. Oh, that gives you, like, a blue fire boost. And you can't hit people with that boost, remember. You just have to actually, you know... Actually jump into them all that. Have a nitro crate for all your worries, gentlemen. Enjoy. If only they would so easily run into it. So yeah, this battle mode is pretty simple. You just gotta run into people. Ha ha. You hit my frickin' nitro crate. How does it feel, huh? Oh, this thing lasts for a while, too. Yes, player one is leading. That is me. Come on, everybody. Come and get me. That person tried to get me. Oh, man, these bombs do not have the greatest homing capability, do they? Ha ha. That wasn't mine, but somebody hit you, so that made me laugh. Freaking Krunk, stop leading. Goddamn Krunk. Ah! I'm just gonna keep circling around this till I get what I want. Not that you're gonna hit him with that, but go ahead. I wanna know how to get that freaking eyeball thing, whatever it does. 
Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Ah, invisibility. Okay. There I go. I used a juiced up version of every power and used every single power at least once. Damn it. Well, I didn't win, but hey. Weapon technician. Use every power up once. I, th I think the achievement might be to get a win in every single battle mode. But you know what? It's fine. I'll at least show them all off. I don't care about the achievements at this point. I'll just show everything off and be like, yeah, it's fine. Captain Flag, grab the other team's flag and bring it back to your portal win. We need three AI, because this doesn't make sense. We'll do it all this stage, just to keep it simple. I don't care about showing off all the stages, but yep. We're just going to show up every single mode once. Battle. Just beat the crap out of opponents. The more items you hit them with, the more points you get. Have those points to win. Every I love how everybody had four and Kronk had seven. Like, what a dick. So, capture the flag. You guys are on teams. You know how it works. Get to your own team's base. I get to the opposing team's base. Grab the flag. But then the other team will come after you. So, try to keep them off you. As you do that, well, make your way to your base. And hopefully your flag is there. Because if not, then you can't get points. I believe you probably have to... I believe you have to... Ow! Hit them in order to get the flag back. And remember, you can't get a point scored... If your flag, if your flag is stolen, you can't get a point for your team. Oh, okay, it's dropped. You have to pick it back up. I see. No! Please get our flag, bro. Oh, we have it. No! I suck. And, well, this is the conundrum you get. If both teams have flags stolen at each other's bases, waiting to be able to get the point. Well, sticky situation, isn't it? Ah, uh, no! My flag! No! Where do they go with my flag? Looks like it's not picked up after a while. It's stolen. All right, they're going back after the flag again. So yeah. God damn it. Fine, I'll make it hard for you to be able to do anything either. God damn it! No, I'm sick and tired of getting knocked around like this. Well, hurry up, bro. Hang on. Got it. Recovered. So, yep. Try to secure your own flag while getting the opposing teams. Ow! And that is capture the flag in a nutshell. I did first the three points, but we were struggling just to get the second point. So, yeah. Screw you, buddy. I like that, huh? Teammate, go! Go! Fine, I'll do it. This is for the win, motherfucker. I was keeping an eye out for missiles. No! You son of a bitch! Isn't that a fun conundrum? Prodigy. How am I a prodigy? Unless that's supposed to be like MVP or something? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yep, so there you go. Just do all those. And, well, try to get more flags to your opponents. Crystal grab. Get greedy to collect the most crystals in the time limit. Don't get hit or you'll pay the price. Oh. Okay. So this mode looks like you got... Okay. So it's kind of like that coin battle Mario Kart had starting from Double Dash, I guess. Or is it DS that started that? Either way, there's a bunch of little items scattered around. Try to collect them. However you get hit, you'll lose a lot of them. So... Grab some crystals. I'm leading. Baby Coco is leading. What a bitch. Baby Coco is still leading. Good for her. 
Time to change that. Small, small Norm is leading. Yeah, Small Norm and Big Norm. It turns out they were from, uh, damn it. They were from Crash Nitro Kart. And apparently that's where Crunch was from, too. I didn't realize there were filters you could put on to see all the characters in the game. You go over the ones that came from the first game, the second game, and other ones that were in neither category. Oh, God, I saw the exploding crystal. It scared me for a second. So, yep, just make sure you grab a lot of these crystals. Whoever's in the lead. Oh, you have invincibility. And you drop, you drop about half rounding up when you get hit. So, yeah, don't let people take your stuff. That's my stuff. Give it back. That's my stuff. And, of course, you have a crown show signifying who the leader is at the moment. So, doesn't matter if you hit them. You have to make sure you grab the crystals after they get hit. Did I miss? Are you kidding me? How did I miss? Mmm. I like that, huh? Ow! Too chaotic. And of course, everybody has a tendency to go after the person in first place. So, you know, if you got the crown on your head, stay on your toes. Damn it. Damn it. Screw you, small norm. Oh, God. I can't break free. I want to break free. Get away from me. Let's get one more. Go, 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 go. Keep everybody off your ass. Like I said, everybody has a tendency to go after the first place person. So, make sure whatever you do, you run away, hide, and protect yourself if you need to. If you like, that's a way to keep yourself safe. Oh, sweet. Oh, these crystals lying around. Oh. That's right, everybody. Come on. Come and get me. I have the lead now. Finally, I can be the victor of a battle game. I shall make sure that nobody can t touch me. Now run into the nitro crate and end everything. Oh, I wanted that one too. Yes, take that. There were 20 total. All right. Knockout. There we go. I got to win. That's what it feels like to win. It's great. Next is last card driving. Here, opponents before they get you as you have a limited amount of tries to be the last card standing. Hmm. Oh, well, this is three, of course. They can't make it too fast or else it wouldn't be much of a game, would it? That figures. But yeah, we have the last card standing. Basically, stock match. Each head is a stock. So you get hit three times, get hit for the amount of lives that you have available, you lose. So, try and knock out every opponent's lives. Just make sure you're not the first one out. Use whatever power-ups you have to to survive. Whether you want to play defense or offense, just be mindful of your strategy. Try to make sure you don't put yourself in a situation where you get easily killed. All right, cool. We'll play this. We'll play this, dog. We'll play this. Uh-oh. No, oh, I guess invincibility doesn't last as long in this. All right, I'm going to run then. Except invincibility doesn't last as long in the battle mode. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now I think about it. Ah, oh, crap. I meant to throw that forward. You can't see my cart. You can only see the wheels. I imagine you can still get hit when you're invisible. It's just, the wheels are probably visible to you and I imagine not the other players. Doesn't matter if you, what you get hit by, as long as you get hit, we're good. I'll put that over that ramp so if somebody hits it. Oh, it'll be beautiful. Oh, yes. Lab assistant eliminated, two cards to go. 
Damn right, bitch. Did he eliminate or did he just teleport somewhere? Ah! Yeah, don't be stupid and run right into them. Looks like the other two only have one hit left. Oh, I see you. Come here. Damn it. Put your barrier down. Put me like a real man. Like this one. Isabella eliminated. One car to go. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, it's down to the very last one, huh? Who will get the final hit? Shit! Life is revoked. What the hell? I thought I hit him. He must have hit it back with something else. God damn it. So, yep. Lose our lives. You are eliminated. Damn it. I almost won that, too. Steal the bacon. Only one bacon left for everyone. No time for sharing. Just pick it up and rush to the home portal. So, free-for-all capture the flag. There's basically a flag lying around somewhere. You gotta take it back to your own personal base. Alright. I kind of thought it would maybe be something like... I was gonna say, there's no zones mode. I think in a racing game, that would be a pain. Yeah, I guess I'm thinking too much of, like, other games. <laughs> zones. Oh, no, 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 no. It is, uh... Oh. It's just a flag in the middle of nowhere. You just gotta take it back to your base. So easier to capture the flag. You don't have to worry about another opposing flag. You just have to get your own. You just have to get this flag and take it home for yourself. Take it! Take it! Take it! I'm gonna get some fruit and then help out. Score! We're cheaters! Woohoo! We win! Gets the goal. Well, that was simple. I can't even see my face. Blue team. I didn't even get any coins for that because I, we cheated so hard. There you go. That's all the battle modes. You get an achievement for coming in first in all the battle modes at least once. So, yeah. Since I failed that, I'll just end it there. All right. Let's just end this off by doing one ring rally because why not? I saw it say something about Electro Re Electron Avenue before. Let's try that. Let's just see how this goes. There's also a mirror mode, which basically, you know, left and right are reversed when you, like, look at the track. So, just make sure you're prepared for that. I'll show off Link Ring Rally, and this will be the end. So, now I can finally get my overall thoughts of this game after all these bonus episodes of extra torture. Man, this game. Fun game. Fun game. Looks like Ring Rally, all I gotta do is just try to get through as many rings as possible. From sounds of it, my speed increases. Anyway, this game is definitely a blast. I will say, I had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, I see. Yep, the more rings you go through, the more... The more speed you gather, and the... Well... Yeah. You basically just want to keep going through rings as fast as possible and get a lot of points. Right, this doesn't seem hard. Use your boost to try to maintain your time to try to keep... Ah, shit. Just do whatever techniques you must in order to stay with all the rings. You get a little bit of extra time for every ring you acquire, and then... Yeah. Some you may need to do some advanced techniques, such as crazy drift boosting, power slide boosting, or something like that in order to acquire the rings. Just make sure you can stay in line with all of them. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to talk about this game. This is a great game, I gotta say. Despite some of the torture that just comes with the Crash series as a whole, I'm not going to make it sound like I dreaded this game. It's more to... Ow. It's more just the challenge that came with it that, uh, yeah. Oh, man, you can just keep going, huh? Well, that makes this a little too easy, then. I can literally do this forever. Are you serious? Oh, jeez. All right, well, then I can be mindless about it. Unless the time you get added on decreases with every lap you do. But it looks like it might. So you don't consistently hit where all the rings are. Or maybe they get smaller. 
Maybe some of them change their positions after a while. I don't know. Well, that was uncool. I'm fine. But yeah. This Green is a great kart racer. Because, well, with the rise of Kart 64, fun arcade style racers, fun, you know, chaotic racing games like this were kind of, you know, becoming a hot thing. Not that many people actually got to, you know, not that we saw too many of them being made unless they were like in the arcade or something. We had like alternative versions of kart racing games like... There are some crazy ones like... The kind of game with the rise of some of those sci-fi racing games as well. I mean, I guess you could also say F-Zero did that, but... You know, there are games like Wipeout. They had elements of both... F-Zero and Mario Kart. Like, you could have items in those, and you also just, you know, race at high speeds with these futuristic vehicles, doing these crazy anti-grab maneuvers. And, yeah. That's all I gotta say. It was fun. And, well, it's nice to see that other other developers try to come up with other unique twists to the idea. Oh, God. Well, that was a dick move, kind of. All I can say is that Mario Kart helped, you know, create a whole new, like, brand of racing game. At least to my knowledge. Then again, I guess there might have been some other games on the NES or something that did something like that, too. But Mario Kart was the first one to make it big. And, well, because of that, well, we got other fun game racing games like this that aren't all just about racing sims and how to, like, Make your car go the fastest. Sometimes it's fun to throw some chaos into the mix to try to screw over your opponent. But everybody stand a pair of shot, you know? Whether you agree with that or not, completely up to your own personal opinion, but... Well, oh yeah, it looks like the rings are getting smaller. Okay, so that's the thing. The rings get smaller as you go. And what I will say, Crash Team Racing is definitely one of the better ones from the 90s. It's very similar to actually Diddy Kong Racing. Like, it's so crazy that two sets of developers had very similar ideas for a racing game. Like, almost, like, scarily similar. Like, there's so many similarities between this and Diddy Kong Racing, it's kind of scary. Like, you have races, you have to go across this giant adventure map to reach, get first place in all of them to earn your right to face a boss, and then you face the boss, and then you earn your right to do more races later on, and then you have the boss races themselves, which are basically against cheating assholes who are either much faster than you or super powered, depending on what game you're playing, how you want to look at it. Yeah, you don't get nearly as much time back now. Yeah, we're getting near the end of this, finally. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we had fun. Yeah, look how small these are getting. Yeah, they're definitely attending on making this mode end. All right, fair enough. Ooh, baby. Look my score, though. And then you had, you know, the extra races. For Diddy Kong Racing, it was, oh, you want to face the boss again? Get these tokens in the race and then get in first place. For Crash Bandicoot, it's like, Oh, you want to get these CTR tokens, huh? All right, get the letter C, T, and R across the track and win first place. Like I said, scarily similar. And well, damn right, baby. Ah, you get score for both how far you went laps and the rings you acquired for your actual score. Damn right, baby. Ah, that's a good way to actually get Wumpa Fruit. Oh, well, it's not a challenge anymore, son of a bitch. Oh, well, thought I'd try it. But yeah, and then there's also, you know, racing against the final boss in a battle to save the world. Also very similar to Diddy Kong Racing. I can't really discredit them for that, though. Nothing at all. I'm not discrediting them about anything. It's just... It's really funny how two different games from different developers who did not really have any relation at all managed to go with such similar ideas. I mean, Diddy Kong Racing System was a little different with the power-up items. You just stack on a certain power to get you a better version of it. Where this game, you get fruits and one of the coins in Super Mario Kart and you have the max 10, then you can use a more powerful version. And you get hit, you lose them. They both have their different quirks, like this game decided to just be a basic kart racer with chaos. 
Diddy Kong Racing usually gets the edge though because it also lets you drive by cart, hovercraft, or boat, whatever, and plane. And they designed their courses with all those vehicles in mind for the most part. I mean, you can only use certain vehicles at certain levels, or you can use a plane for all of them. But still, it's nice that it's just really funny that two different developers came up with a very similar idea. And while this one happens to be a lot more skill-based than a lot of them at the time, and probably still this day, because most arcade, most, I keep saying arcade, most kart racers like this tend to be more about the chaos and just, you know, let the items do the talking. If you have a little semblance of skill, you can still use what little bit you need to get an edge. This game makes that boost mean so much more, so if you get really good at that boost, items won't mean anything. It kind of is weird, though, that one mechanic, like, dominates the entirety of the game. It's an interesting mechanic, and it's very difficult to master, but it is satisfying. And so I'm very glad they brought this game back. At least now I can actually play it, I'll feel like I'm waiting an eternity to get from race to race or battle to battle. About goddamn time. I wanted to do the last shortcut achievement, but don't worry about it. Who cares at this point? I'll just leave that alone. But there we go. We're finally done, done with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Thank you all for watching. It's been a fun adventure, despite some frustrations along the way. Although I may as well see the online mode just for the hell of it, just to see if they have, like, what the lobby's like. Matchmaking, private match, friends. Pit stop so you can still, you know, do your, um... You still look at your vehicles and stuff and all that. And what the challenges, you can always look at those again. Okay, so they got like a little hub, and then you can just do matchmaking. That's nice. Okay. I'm not doing an online race. I don't feel like doing that. You've seen everything this game has to offer now. We're going over it all. Cup race you've seen in the adventure mode. Single race. Yeah. Battle just did. Time trial. Oh, I went in more than enough of that. Ring rally just did. Relic race. You've seen them. CTR challenge. You've seen them. Crystal challenge. You've seen them. All of those. If you want to check out the other ways you got to do relic race and CTR challenges for the nitro car course and the bonus tracks, help yourself. I'm not doing all that. I just did what I had to. And I feel like I am done. So what's next for the channel, you may be wondering. For my Saturdays, anyway. Because I tend to do spin-off games. Or just, you know, other weird little side attractions. Funny thing about that. One of the LPs that's running right now. Well, there's a reason I did Samus Returns before that. Because, well, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. It's kind of funny. It goes through the Mega Man games 7 through 10. Yet, the true Mega Man fans know there's a game that's kind of missing from that collection. That is what I'm going to be going into next time on Saturdays. We're going to be going over that lost Mega Man game that is completely forgotten by that Legacy Collection. Which is a goddamn shame, because I do like it. I could have thrown it in the, in the Legacy Collection LP, but I feel like it's more... It's better to leave it on its own, so Legacy Collection is left as what it is instead of what I feel like it should have been. If that makes any sense. Oh, right, yeah, by the way, just show this. Nitro Fuel on Hard. There's also an achievement for being this adventure mode on Hard. And if you do the Nitro Fueled version, well, you can set the difficulty, and Hard is pretty intense. It took me a while to win one race because everybody's incredibly fast. And if you go through the game with a villain character. You have Uka Uka talking to you instead of Aku Aku. He says, he kind of paraphrases it, but he generally says the same stuff. When you get a TNT crate on your head. Oh, okay. That was Aku Aku. That was weird. I kind of thought it was going to be uh, Uka Uka. Do I go to this door? There we go. You must have a boss key to open this door. His voice sounds a little different than I thought it would. All four tracks in oh, I didn't go over the voice actors. You know what? It's fine. The key is your in the credits in episode 8, you actually got to see, like, every voice actor, and they actually gave, like, the actual character they voiced. So, just just go off that. If you've seen my other Crash playthroughs, you've heard me go over these characters more than enough times. So, no, don't worry about it. Except Nitro's Oxide, I guess. Now part of me is tempted to at least look that up before we end this off. But yep, I got a special Mega Man game coming up next Saturday. So if you're tired of Mega Man, sorry. But that's just what I wanted to get done. If you're looking for um, something else, well, you still have Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, of course. Pokemon Pearl is going to be running for a while. And Sonic Rush Adventure is... 
a platform game I felt like I wanted to do because it just makes sense to me. As a game I like, damn it. I guess the last one I should go over voice acting wise, at least for Nitrous Oxide. Oh, Corey Burton. Never mind them. Corey Burton's done a lot of things. <laughs> all right then. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, we're probably done with Crash Bandicoot on the channel. I've gone over more enough times, including the credit episode rant about why I'm not doing Crash 4. But, you know, it's nice to see Crash Bandicoot get a revival, even in this spinoff. And well, hopefully Crash continues to get love, because I do love some of these old mascot characters. They're a fun time. So, until next time, everybody, I'll see you around, and uh, happy racing.